the bowl I'm proudest of is either this one or this one. These two are both um, stars, quilt patterns. Two people, two different hobbies on two sides of a basement. Almost every day I'm down there doing something. John O'Brien, woodworking. Got some ambrosia maple, which is the, the white with the dark streaks. Some red grandis, some aspen, some ash, white oak. Just a lot of different species, which give me a, a kind of a palette to choose from. And his wife, Andrea, quilting. With quilting, you cut things, cut shapes, and sew them together. With the woodworking, we, we cut the cut the wood into shapes and glue them back together. So, uh, and a lot of the same patterns. I mean, you'll see, like, um, this is a, a very common pattern you would see in a quilt. They started a business last year, the Splintered Spool, as something to do together and make a little money in the process. Andrea helps me more than I help her. Um, she, she's a lot better input for um, color combinations and that kind of thing. His love for woodworking started when he was in high school, but he chose a different career path. I had a shop class that I really enjoyed, um, but I knew that I wasn't going to go into that field, so I went and took more sciences and that kind of thing, but I've always enjoyed making things and working with my hands, and, and uh, I just kind of got back into it last summer. And today has learned how to do the intricate work in a different way. You learn a lot of things on YouTube. That doesn't mean it's simple, though. These have, you know, like 50 to 100 pieces. Some of them have more than that and you have to glue them all together into the right shape before you actually make the bowl. This is a lathe, and um, this you, uh, basically you spin the wood around really fast, and you use a sharp tool, basically a chisel, to knock the corners off. Um, I think I've got it set at about 900 RPM right now, so uh, you just turn it on and it spins away. And then um, you just take a chisel and get in close slowly. He manipulates the wood to showcase its own beauty. All the different species have a different color, so I don't use any dyes or any stains or anything. All the colors that you see are the natural colors of the wood. The wood is starting to rot, and that's where the different uh, fungi are meeting, and the dark lines are where they kind of are fighting for territory. Each piece fits perfectly together, just like he and his wife and their work areas on each side of their basement. The segmented bowls that's um, in the process of being made um, you can kind of see where the pieces are and you can see um, this started out as a 12-sided uh, piece that you eventually turned down into a circle and I'm going to eventually I'm going to attach it to this which is called a feature ring and it's a zigzag pattern that goes around so really looking forward to this one when it gets done.